think Montreal's going to take you? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> you need to ask them. Is it important for you to go number one? Like at the end of the day, I think it's doesn't really matter. At the end, I want to be best. When I'm retired, I want to be best player from this draft. So I think it doesn't matter one, two, or three. How important it is for your Slovakia to have you like maybe first or second overall? Oh, I think that's very important, and I think it's also important that we have like so many players in this year's draft, and I think it's just good for Slovak hockey. Do you have an explanation why there's more Slovaks this year? Like, I can maybe say that we were playing tournaments together when we were like really young. We, we were at one team almost every guy that is in a draft from Slovakia today. So I think we were growing up together and pushing each other, and I think that's that's why. You are who you are as a player right now. Who do you think you can be over the next two, three, four years? Even better version of myself. I don't know. I just wanna get better and better every day and we will see where I can end up. What is a better version of yourself? I think it's just doing those little things better and better and scoring more and more and creating more and more. How much did the Olympics and the Worlds help you, like give you confidence that, you know, push you push you on this season especially? I think a lot because it was a pretty tough season in, uh, in my uh, team so when I got there and I had more like freedom so that felt good and my confidence went higher and higher so that was really important for you me. You got to know Shane much? Shane and Logan much? Like yeah, I was with Shane in New Jersey before and uh, now we are here together. Uh, really good guy uh, in my opinion. Yeah. You guys are, you know, you guys are, everyone wants to go number one, but it, what, what's the relationship like? Like what's it like when, when you, you want to, not beat the guy, but you know, you want to be ahead of him? Yeah, like it's competition, but of course it's, it's, I think it's, it's a pretty good relationship. It's, it's fun that we fight like this, and then we are just good friends of the ice, and I think. How much did you know about Montreal before today, and what's your impressions of the city? You have been around a little bit. Actually, I was here in 2014, when I was 10, in, a, in a, some summer camp. But, yeah, well, I don't remember anything, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I like the city. It's, it's pretty big bigger than where I'm from and the traffic is pretty bad but <laughs> I, I can deal with that. You had a chance to meet with a lot of different teams. What did you learn about yourself in that process of going through those interviews and and really opening up about yourself to all these people and telling them what you want them to know? Mm, I don't know. I learned that I, I can actually speak English and <laughs> I don't really know. I, it, it was like more most of the interviews were same, so it was basically just same things over and over. What was your visit like with New Jersey when you and Shane were down there? Yeah, it was fun. We went went to eat. We saw the arena and spoke with the well with the GM and the other guys. So yeah, it was good experience. What do you know about that team that you feel would be something that you would fit well into? Sorry. What do you know about the Devils that you feel like you would fit well into? I know you've talked a lot about Montreal, but what do you know about the Devils? Yeah, yeah, they have two good centers, so I think at some they are not that big as me, so I think I can fit there and just just create something for them. When you spoke with Montreal, did you speak with Mason and Kevin? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Tomorrow there is one meeting for me, so we will see who will be there. What have these last few days kind of been like for you now that it's here, now that your draft is tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, I just cannot wait until it's all over and I can go to the team where where they pick me and just just be there and train because uh, it's all over my head now, but I enjoy it. Who do you have here with you? Do you have family with you? Yeah, I have my family with me here. Is it, is it, is it, is it hard for you Is it hard to wait for you yeah. until tomorrow? Mm, no, actually, I'm pretty tired from traveling, so it's <laughs> going pretty well, and I just cannot wait when I get to my room and go to sleep, and then I wake up, and there is tomorrow. If you do get drafted by Montreal, there's a lot of pressure playing in this market. Is that something you've thought about, and do you think you're prepared to handle that, if that's the case? Yeah, I think I can be prepared for that. I think I can deal with the pressure, and 
I feel good playing under pressure. You seem like a very confident young man. Where does that have you always? That always been part of your uh, personality? Uh, yeah, I think it's it's pretty important to be confident these days and just well, like not that when it's not like overconfident or how would I say? But yeah, I feel yeah I feel pretty confident, but. We'll <laughs> I imagine when you were watching games last season, you might have been watching teams and wondering maybe I'll end up in that team. I'm wondering if you watched Montreal and you watched Nick Suzuki with Cole Caulfield, did you wonder maybe I could play with those two guys? Mm, yeah, of course. Why not? I, <laughs> I watched and then I saw something in the newspaper about them. So, I, yeah, I, I can imagine that. What was the turning point for you? At what point in this last year? Did you say to yourself, I think, you know, my game is really coming around and I can make a run at going number one? Was there one moment, one goal, one pass, one hit, one shift, anything? I think it was Olympics, like when I realized that I can play on a s small ice and I can actually score and create on, on the small ice also. When you look into a crystal ball, is there a player that you see that you think you can have the kind of career that he had? What kind of player can you become? Uh, I like Miko Rantanen, so I hope I can, I can get at least to the point like where he is. But we will see in the future. You had the chance to visit the complex this morning, uh, the dressing room. What was your first impression? Uh, I really like it, and as I said, I was here eight years ago, so I also have some pictures from that. So yeah, I just I remembered some some of the things. Why were you here? Uh, eight years ago? Uh, it was just some summer camp, so uh, me and one of my friend and our parents, we went here. What do you think is the best part of your game? Mm, like back protection and creating from that, like creating space from, from for my teammates when I protect the puck myself. In, uh, in Buffalo, you were asked about the possibility of playing with uh, Suzuki and Caulfield. Uh, you were on the ice with Suzuki this morning. What was the conversation like? Uh... Yeah, it was fun. Uh, I wanted to st uh, stand next to him, so there is something to write on in newspaper. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like that. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're confident that you'd be able to make the jump directly to the NHL next season. If I train well in the summer, yeah, then I feel confident about jumping. In.